Hey guys, happy Monday. So, here is an update on Seed Watch. The seeds have started to sprout little baby toes. Um, the, obviously this logo's right here. This one hasn't sprouted yet, but I can't tell if this one has or not. I guess I could, I, it looks like it has. But so yeah, we, I think we planted them like four days ago, right Tyler? I don't know. Well, we planted them a couple of days ago, and they already have little sprouts on them. Uh, I took it out of the window because I'm going to go ahead and mist the paper towel a little bit because it's starting to dry out. I am going to let it sit in the window a little bit longer because I want the sprouts to be a bit bigger before I plant them. So um, I'm going to spray it and put it back up in the window. But I wanted to show you that they're already starting to sprout, and I am very happy. I cannot wait to plant our sunflowers. Alright, it's chamomile feeding time and I went ahead and threw some mealworms down in there, but I'm also going to throw some crickets in there here in a second. If you noticed a white powder in that bowl where I put the mealworms in, it's actually like a B3 and like a calcium powder that we shake the crickets and the mealworms in sometimes. When we feed the chameleon, because crickets and mealworms aren't enough for their diet, you have to give them like herbivite and like calcium powder and stuff like that on their food to make sure that they don't get like deprived of their nutrients and things like that. So that's what was in the bowl and I went ahead and dusted the mealworms and the crickets and like the next time or two that we feed her we're not going to dust them because they can also overdose on that kind of vitamins. I guess not overdose isn't the right word but it can calcify like their stomach or liver or something like that so you're not supposed to give them too much. I do know that. I just don't know which part of the body it calcifies but it's not good to give them too much of it either so you're supposed to just dust a few of their meals every month what have you done what have you done you killed it you killed it yeah you killed it why'd you kill it you've had that toy for four months not not even really four months you've had it for like three months because you got it for christmas and it was kind of packed away so you've had it for like barely three months and you ripped it open hmm. does that make you happy does it make you happy killing candy canes? They also killed the fish! You killed the fish, Grizzly! First the candy cane and now the fish? Huh? Why did you kill him? Why did you kill him, Grizzly? Why did you kill him? Hmm? Hmm? Did you do this? Did you do this? I made burritos for dinner. Burritos. <laughs> Do any of you guys eat olives on your burritos? Because I eat olives on my burritos. And I feel like I've never met anybody who ate olives on their burritos. And here's my nice folded burrito. Every time I ask you if you want olives on your burritos, you're like, mmm. Because they have to be the jalapeno infused olives. Ew. Or I almost accidentally bought colossal ones today. <laughs> Nom nom nom. Good night, chamomile. Where's her water button? And good night, water. Good night, chamomile. Alright, here's attempt number two at fixing my cat tower. I already started gluing it back on up here, and I got the glue gun over here. And we had tried to staple it on before, and these are the staples from before, but they just wouldn't stay in. So I'm going to try this, but this whole part needs to be glued, and that's going to take a bit to do. I guess I'm just going to cut off this extra piece because something happened, and there's like... This is where it meets the end, and there's no room, and it's because... This isn't raveled as tightly as down here because there's staples up here, so I'm just going to cut it off, and then if they break a piece off, then I'll have a little bit extra I can glue on, but voila, I have done it, and it took like five things of glue in like 30 minutes, but we good. It's fixed. I'm so proud of my work. It looks so nice. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I have just gotten home. Um, well I got off work a little while ago and I went to my aunt's house for a bit so now I'm home and it's nice to finally be relaxing in my own house and I've got some chicken that's defrosting on the counter because I'm doing some chicken and rice and cream of mushroom for dinner. Happy Tuesday from the Moose Moose. Moose Moose. Say happy Tuesday. Grizzly, say happy Tuesday. 
The seeds are looking really good today. You can actually tell that they have grown a little bit more since when I showed you last, and I'm really excited. Let me put that back on the window. Ta-da, look at the sun. But I am really excited to plant them. I'm thinking about getting one of those long, like, window type boxes and setting it like how it, this is shorter, setting it maybe along the side right there, or along the side down there. I think that would be really cute. We because I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seeds in here, and I just think it would look really cute if I spaced them out along the potter. It's also been really hot outside, so I went ahead and gave Clark some water, and you could just see a second ago a bug. You can still kind of see it, that's so funny. But yes, yeah, so I went ahead and gave Clark some water. I bought a brush for Grizzly because he sheds really bad and he hates this brush. <laughs> oh yeah, let me brush you. Don't attack it. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna brush you. Hey guys, I'm here with some chicken. Uh, it's pretty good actually. But if you liked what you saw, uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, comment what you're feeling, and have a nice day. Tyler out.